Hey there, YTPC. Pike's Peak Piper here. I'm just wrapping up um, a bowl of some Davidoff Royalty. It's the English blend that I have in my rotation here out in the uh, mansion. It's almost done. Got a couple things going on here tonight. First of all, um, it is staining night. <laughs> Black stain for the initial contrast for the grains of a couple pipes that I've been working on. So this one's just a, I don't know what that is, some sort of billiard or something. And then, so we've hit, hit these pipes with a couple coats. And then this is a uh, freehand, kind of an axe. Kind of got a cool difference than most that you see. Um, decided to stick with kind of a flat bottom, but uh, that one's got some plateau top on it. So, just finished uh, staining those up, but they are slow to dry in this cold Colorado air, and my pipe is out. Um, I knew it was pretty much done when I started this video. That's okay. Um, I've been up since 2 this morning. It is now, I don't know, 8 o'clock tonight or something like that. It's been a long day. Let's uh, is what it is. Hopefully, that means I'll sleep well tonight. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to do tonight is crack open a couple of tins. And um, these tins have been sitting in the cellar for a couple of years now. Um, Okay, that one hasn't. <laughs> a little, little bit. Okay, so not that long. Uh, like a year and a half, to a year to a year and a half. So not that long. That's okay. I got lots of lots of tobaccos in the cellar. Um, but what I want to do is I want to open up some tins, and then I've got some some jars for them. Um, sometimes when you open up a a tin and you start right into it it's uh it's not very good you need to let it get a little bit of air in it so um figured i'd pull three tins out open up three new tins fill up these uh empty jars um and uh, i will give each of these tins a whirl in um february which is only um like a week away now, so not that far away. So we're gonna give them about a week of air time um, in the jar, so um, that should help. I have smoked one of these blends before. So I have smoked Jackknife Plug. Um, this is a really, really good blend. Um, I'll just read the description on the tin. It says, it's a dark fired Kentucky leaf and ripe red Virginia tobaccos with their deep earthy flavors are layered on a central core of golden flu cured for a hint of bright sweetness, then pressed and matured in cakes, finally cut into two ounce blocks. Slice it thick and rub it out for a ribbon cut, then for a shag or chop it into cubes. Choice is yours. So this comes in, in a brownie. Um, and it is really a fantastic, fantastic blend. Um, it's also a stronger blend, which in my quest to quit smoking cigarettes, I felt was important from a replacement therapy, if you will. One of my friends suggested uh, rolling, doing uh, some, rolling some uh, pipe tobacco into um Pipe tobacco cigarettes. Might try that. So if you've never had jackknife plug before, they do have a ready rubbed version. I've never had that version before. Um, but uh, it is in its native form. Basically just a big brownie. 
<laughs> Look at that. This one's already got a little bit of crystallization going on. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. Got some sugar crystals going. And this tin is not that old, believe it or not. Um, they gave me a little tiny, tiny cube as well. Um, let's see how old this tin is. This tin is August 30th of 21. So... Let's see, we're January of 23, so was that 16, 17 months, give or take? Not too bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got some good crystallization going on in that. You can smell the brights, the uh, little citrusy smell from those. I don't really get much of the uh, jackknife or the, um, the dark fire Kentucky in this. But I have tasted this, um, and I know it is in there, and it is a fantastic, well-done blend. Um, where'd the lid go? <laughs> Sorry, I'm reaching here. Um, so, jackknife plug. I'll put the, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in the tin like this for now. Tin in, the jar in the tin, that works. Um... So then the next two blends I have never smoked before. Uh, so I'm very excited to try them. And um, they are also in the Virginia family. Neither, neither, none of these three blends are, um, are English blends. Um, they're all Virginia, in the Virginia family. I've got lots of English blends open, so I don't, you know, there's nothing special about opening those. Uh, so the first one we're going to try, and these, uh, there's a theme here. These are all GLP's tobaccos. Um, so the next one we're going to open up is Fillmore. This one's got a date of August 17th of 21, so also 16, 17 months old. This one says it's a thick, sliced, broken flake in the Scottish tradition. Ripe red Virginia tobaccos are combined with a generous measure of fine Louisiana preak, then press to marry the components to deepen the flavors. Cakes are sliced and gently broken before tinning. Um, presents an elegant sweetness and delightful piquancy. How you say that word? Enhanced by creamy richness and develops throughout the bowl. Sit back and enjoy a lovely leisurely smoke. So this is a vapor. And then the last one is a straight Virginia, I believe. So let's crack that bad boy. Sound of the air whooshing out. Oh, yeah, that's some rich looking dark tobacco. That looks really nice. It smells very bready already. Yeah, that's uh, that's got a good rich mahogany color to it. You can definitely smell the uh, you know it, it's vapors have that kind of plummy, bready smell to them. In my mind, mm, smells wonderful, just like that. That's like candy. Mm. All right, I'm not gonna jar that up here. Because I don't want to take up all your time tonight. So the last one we're going to open up is GLP's Montgomery um, from the same Fog City Selections collection. This one is newer, uh, February of 22, so it's 11 months old. This says, Virginia's, Virginia's, Virginia. Several grades of wonderful flu-cured leaf from soft yellow to deep red are combined with just a touch of dark-fired Kentucky. For a little added richness, I do like Dark Fire Kentucky. A special process recovered from ancient archives provides the finishing touch to the wonderful blend. I don't know what that is. Naturally sweet and possessing subtle complexity, Montgomery presents delightful new dimensions for the lover of, a, of sophisticated Virginia blends. Well, let's crack it open and see how it smells. So 
So let's see, we've got a plug, we've got the broken flake. This one is a ribbon cut. Very bready. Delightful smelling. Yeah, that's a good smelling blend. Not a lot of grassy notes in it. I think I just got like pipe tobacco up my nose. <laughs> the new way of doing snuff. Mm, yeah, that, uh, you know, it, it smells similar to a vapor, honestly, um, but it is not. It is a straight Virginia. Got some bready, bready tones to it. Um, I don't really see any crystallization going on in this, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure it's still going to be just fine. And, uh, you know, highly unlikely that I'm going to be smoking all these in one month. Because Virginia's... I, I am a predominantly English smoker. Um, I like Virginia's a lot and Vapor's a lot, but uh, I got to be really careful so I don't get tongue bite. As a cigarette smoker, I tend to smoke fast and um and hard and so uh i gotta be very careful not to fry le tongue so uh anyways those are the blends we're opening up for next month and um i will do a review on each of these i know that's um that's not my normal mo is to do a review i don't generally do that because i don't know what i'm tasting half the time but you know why not We'll uh, we'll see. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see what we can do and uh, see if uh, if we have any value that we can bring to the world in uh, in our pipe tobacco reviews. Anyways, I appreciate all of you watching. Happy smokes, folks.